Last week's investigation by the New York Times claiming Governor Andrew Cuomo may have interfered with the Moreland Commission investigating corruption in Albany has taken center stage in the race for governor. This is what this state needs. Needs a little bleach, at least needs a little disinfectant. Albany has to be cleaned up. Cuomo's Republican opponent, Rob Astorino, says when the governor disbanded the Moreland Commission just before it was about to issue a number of subpoenas, he may be guilty of tampering, obstruction of justice, and civil rights violations. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan is reviewing the commission's files. He used his influence to directly cut off an investigation when it got too close for his comfort. Calling it Cuomo's Watergate in the making, Astorino demanded that the governor publicly explain his involvement. They threatened members of the Moreland Commission. They intimidated them and they got their way to protect their cronies. While Astorino was here in Syracuse blasting the governor about alleged corruption, Governor Cuomo was in Buffalo answering reporters' questions about what happened with the Moreland Commission. After an appearance to promote his Startup New York jobs campaign, Cuomo said he did not interfere, but offered suggestions. I don't want to set up another bureaucracy. The governor said the Moreland Commission was short term to help pass ethics reform. The commission went out of existence when it got the law passed because that was the design and the plan. Onondaga County District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick was a co-chair of the Moreland Commission. The DA has not responded to our request for an interview, but today Fitzpatrick issued this three-page statement reading in part, the bottom line is that nobody interfered with me or my co-chairs. Frankly, for those who do not know me well, that suggestion is absurd. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Jim Kenyon.